So it is kind of nice. The grill is a little slightly different. Headlights are pretty much the same. Nothing's really changed there. Body styles and the lines on the side have pretty much stayed the same. Nothing really different, like I said. Let's take a look inside now. There is some pretty drastic changes on the inside. Where you can see the steering wheel is different. Controls, uh, you know, the display for the uh, odometer and uh, everything there is pretty different. It's a little different. Uh, the, the center console controls are different. This is pretty cool. I thought this was neat. It's just a, you know, a knob. You just kind of change to, you know, the gear you'd like to change it into. Pretty neat. But other than that, it's pretty typical. Everything is the same. Like I said, it's not that big of a difference. I wouldn't go run and say your car is worth nothing and you bought it in 2014. So I wouldn't worry too much. Let's go check out the back of this new beautiful car. You can see tail lights, pretty neat. They look kind of European. It's kind of cool. They are an LED. But uh, the 2014s were LED as well, but it didn't look like this. They were slightly different. Yeah, there's one right there, see? So you can kind of compare the two, you see? This is the 2014, and then this is the 2015. So it's not that huge of a difference. More importantly, let's go ahead and jump inside. Oh yeah, the wheels, I forgot to show you that. I want to check out the wheels. These are same aluminum style. Uh, these right here are Michelin's and they're uh, R17s, so they're 17 inch wheels. And this is a uh, same, it's also 17 inch, but you see it has more spokes than this one does. So let's take a look inside. More oil and filters from AutoZone. Protect your engine this summer with a five-quart jug of Tensoil conventional motor oil. Sorry about that. All right, so we're checking it out here. We got a two-tone black and gray interior. We got a new ceiling design. Got a white marbleized center with a color LED on the uh, exterior trim. Suede finish. You got the stainless steel trim, and you got the courtesy white LED lights instead of those round dome opera lights so we're doing a little different then you got the mood lighting there with the mesh LED it is a JC you got the mesh style bar tri-level LED lighting you got the champagne bucket in the center two ice bins on each side you got champagne glasses rock glass holders so it's pretty straightforward design simple button based of course we don't use a special control panel so we kind of keep it simple easy to use for long-term use easy to maintenance we uh, also took the door panel and made it match the upholstery so everything kind of matches up got an armrest over there in the corner we got some acrylic around the TV frame that is a TV there in the center of the uh, divider so that is your 26 inch high definition LED flat screen. And that's about it. You got a nice Rockford Fosgate 500 watt two way speakers, surround sound. You got a 10 inch subwoofer built in behind the JC with an amplifier, 2000 watt digital five channel. You got another LED flat screen right there in the bar. Stainless steel backing, acrylic frame. Pretty neat. Everything comes fully loaded. American Limousine Sales does not do a base model. We do a fully loaded version of our limousines only. So if you have any questions about this car, just feel free to give us a call. My name is Richard. I'm the sales manager. Uh, you can call me on my cell phone or text me. It's 323-209-8510. And uh, I'm always available. Give me a call. Give me a shout, guys. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Front space is uh, looks dirty right now, but pretty typical size Chrysler, not much difference. That's about it, guys. This is Richard signing off. I really appreciate you checking checking this video out and uh, give us a call. Look, looking forward to hearing from you.